Hello friends, in this video we will synthesize the aromatic hydrocarbon N-butyl benzene via the woods fittig reaction. This synthesis has been adapted from Vogel's textbook of practical organic chemistry. For this synthesis we need 13 grams of bromobenzene, 12.3 grams of 1-bromobutane which I synthesized in one of my previous videos and 5.6 grams of finely chopped sodium metal. Start by taking a 100 ml Erlenmeyer flask and add 15 grams of bromobenzene to it. Then add 12.3 grams of 1-bromobutane. Shake the flask to mix the contents and it will result in a clear solution. Place a 250 ml 3 neck round bottom flask in a heating mantle and add 5.4 grams of finely chopped sodium metal to it. Sodium has to be first dried from the mineral oil using filter paper and then outer layer was removed by cutting it out. This will expose the silvery outer surface. This is after the addition of whole sodium metal. An addition funnel and a dim growth condenser was attached to two of the necks of the round bottom flask and the third neck was closed with a penny head stopper. The mixture of bromobenzene and bromobutane was added to the addition funnel. Cold water was circulated in the dim growth condenser and the knob of the addition funnel was turned to slowly drip the mixture to the sodium in the flask. Soon you will see dense white fumes in the flask and the flask starts getting very hot. When we see the inside of the flask, we see sodium metal in molten state due to the heat of the reaction and this molten sodium is reacting with the molecules bromobenzene and bromobutane to form the thick white fumes. You can also see the reflex has started. The overall reaction that is happening here is like this. The bromide from the bromobenzene and bromobutane joins with two molecules of sodium to form sodium bromide and this gives rise to the condensed hydrocarbon butyl benzene. The byproduct formed like N octane and biphenyl can be easily separated by distillation. Two mechanisms have been proposed for both Wood's reaction and Wood's fittig reaction. In the first approach, there is sodium-mediated formation of alkyl and aryl radicals which then combine to form the substituted hydrocarbon. In the second approach, there is formation of an intermediate organosodium compound followed by nucleophilic attack of the alkyl halide. Once all the mixture have been dripped down, the reaction dies down. In the flask, there are some solid chunk left behind. These are mostly large chunks of sodium bromide and unreacted sodium metal. Sodium metal can be removed by initially adding 15 ml of absolute ethanol through the addition funnel. Adding ethanol would cause sodium metal to react and heat of the reaction is too much that the contents once again start to reflex. In this clip, you can see excess sodium reacting with ethanol. Once all the ethanol have been added, we add a mix of 6 ml of absolute ethanol and 6 ml of water. Finally, add 12 ml of water. This treatment will remove the excess sodium. Now the contents were set for reflex for 30 minutes. You can clearly see the oily product reflexing. The solution was then vacuum filtered to remove the sludge. The clear filtrate was then extracted twice with diethyl ether and the ethereal layer was subjected to distillation. In this process all the diethyl ether was recycled.
Finally, the product N-butylbenzene was collected at 184 degrees C. The product is clear but a little bit greasy in appearance. I got 3 grams of the product which is less than the amount mentioned in Vogels that is 4.8. That's all in this video. Hope you have enjoyed my video. These are all my Patreon and PayPal supporters who are financially helping me so that I am able to purchase new equipments and chemicals required for doing new videos. You can also support me via Patreon or PayPal. The links of both of them are given in the description. Once again, thank you for watching. Do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell button so that you will get notified about my future videos. Thank you.